So uh, we'll have an opportunity to discuss this some more before we're done, I suspect, this session. Um, we have a question from a viewer who is concerned about the Senate having passed the Pension Sustainability Bill and wants to know uh, when, uh, that, when or if that will be passed by the House. Uh, so I guess we'll pick on you, uh, Representative <laughs> Dean. We'll, we'll start with you. Uh, this, what about the Pension Sustainability Bill and what's going to happen with that? Well, I, I can't give you any good uh, answer on that, unfortunately. Uh, I will say that the... This is what I tell some of the lawyers who appear in front of us. Sometimes the appropriate answer to the question is, I don't know the answer to that question. But anyway, go ahead. Uh, I, I wish I could help you with uh, your, your viewer with a, uh, with a good answer on a date or uh, at the end of session, but I think it will be a discussion probably closer to the end of session. Pension um, sustainability, anybody else want to comment on I, that? I just think I'm, I'm very um, happy we were able to get the state contracts done and the, the pension bill in the, in the Senate. Um, you know, it was, they were used as political games and, and not getting done for this long is, is unacceptable. We have just such treasures as, as state employees that are troopers, that are, uh, you know, work in our prisons and our public health nurses and um, they do a lot of things, work in our, our state government and make sure that uh, our state functions properly. And so um, I'm just glad we were able to get it done. And to that point, uh, Senator Bigham, when I think of that pension law getting done in the Senate, um, I just have to say kudos to Senator Julie Rosen. Yes. I mean, yep. uh, Senator Rosen has worked her tail off in that, and she has just an enormous uh, data bank in her head as to how these Absolutely. whole pensions work. And uh, f for me as a, as a young senator, uh, it, was, uh, it was really gratifying to know that she was leading the way. And one other thing, you know, th having um, uh, pensions that aren't fully funded uh, is a problem for our um, bonding rating and just, you know, it, it has an <laughs> adverse effect. So it was the right thing to do um, fiscally as well. You know, in a bonding year, you know, you're going to want to get your best ratings when you go out to let the bonds for the projects. If the House can get it done and the governor that's, signs it, I think we'll be one of the, probably one of the top ten states yeah. in terms of, you know, solvency and, and financial stability. Sooner yeah. the better, House. I agree. Uh, <laughs> we, we should get it done. And, and I hear from constituents who are yeah. pensioners that it's really critical to them to know what the future is going to look like. So 